What's going on, Jim? Oh, you know, doing I, doing various wizardly things in yourself. Well, I hear you have some new sound effects. We may we may tap into sound effects, images, and uh, all that good good shenanigans here. I would say there's a high probability. That's good. Well, you know, you and I were chatting before we started just about how people are right now in the world. And, you know, we, we've been chatting with different entrepreneurs. Uh, I have, I know you have too. And I just feel like people are, are ready. And here's something interesting. I believe that the first 30 to, 30 to 90 days is a huge market share opportunity. Um, so what do I mean by that? I mean that um, people have been chilling in the quarantine. Some people have been wasting time. Some people have been redeeming time. But I know your, gun, your gun's blazing. You're going out and you're actually adding a ton of value. Our team as well. Uh, we're, we're super excited. But I, I think now's the time to act. Um, now's the time to take advantage. What do you think? Well, I think now is definitely the time. If, you, if you're if you an author and you want to get exposure for your book, mm -hmm. there's a ton of people sitting around that need somebody to interview. There are people with podcasts that need people to interview. There are people with Facebook Lives. There are people with shows. There are reporters. There are all kinds of people that are looking for people to interview because they need content for their audiences. They need to add value for their audience. But the problem is, is that if you just kind of show up and say, Hey, would you like to interview me? They're like, huh? Who are you? Why should I, what do I, I mean, yeah. Huh? Yep. One of, <laughs> one of our authors just got a big article written up uh, because the, the newspaper interviewed her on, on her children's book and, and how it was great reading during the coronavirus so in other words they're even thinking like okay we can't just talk about coronavirus all the time so there this was a great article um her name is donna uh, cohen and she just got featured in the newspaper for her awesome. children's book i was just thinking all covid all the time you know it's like hey yeah. it's the covid news channel everything's related to that absolutely you know? And, and that's, that's, that's kind of the way things are. It's almost like if you want to do some news jacking, tie yeah. whatever you're doing to the coronavirus. Absolutely. So let's, let's talk about it. Um, what do you need, Jim? I know you've been interviewed. Do you have your um, article that you were featured in? I know you've printed that thing out before, your, your famous one. Which one? Uh, you do have a lot. Oh, you mean the one with the New York Times? Ah. Or perhaps the one where I was on the front cover? Well, this was front cover of the New York Times real estate section. This was front cover of the Richmond Times Dispatch real estate section. I love um, it. Which one were you referring to? Or perhaps <laughs> were you asking about the time that I appeared in Entrepreneur Magazine? Oh, I like that. Um, I got to turn. All I should have that page marked. I'm going to talk about all of them. Because, I think we should talk about all of them. Yeah, because uh, you need something critical. What do you need, Jim? Uh, you need a cool red Hawaiian shirt is I'll what you, you need. What, I'm going to say you've upgraded in your appearance. I, <laughs> I, it's not that the other one was bad, but... Uh, I'm, I'm, First thing you got to do is have a hook. You got to have an angle. You, you got to have a reason why they should interview you. In other words, they're not going to come up 99 times out of 100. The person that might interview you is not going to take the time, energy or effort to figure out why they should interview you or what would be a good hook to interview you. Um, you've got to present them with a, hey, I know what your audience is all about. Here's a topic. Here's a hook. Here's a title. Here's something that you could interview me about that your audience would love that has a real cool, relevant hook. So, you know, if you were like somebody who had written a, um, written a children's book, you go out with a hook of 10 ways to keep your kids entertained uh, during um, stay at home. Yep. And one of them is to read them a book. And I just have to happen to have written a book that's great for kids. So, you know, that kind of a thing where they go, hey, that's a cool idea. And I don't have to think. And this person, let me look at their bot. Oh, yep. Looks like they know what they're talking about. Let me let me contact them or have my assistant contact them. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, these people are uh, understaffed. 
from what I've heard, and they want uh, to not do the heavy lifting and find your headshot and your bio and the questions. And, and really Author Wizards has a tool where you can kind of crank out not only your bio, but you can also crank out a headline and even a sample interview. I know all those things um, yep. can be done. And, and folks, if you want to check, check this out, in fact, Jim, can you share your screen? What would you like me to share? I'd like you to go to uh, elixirprojectbook.com slash media. Elixir, mm -hmm. yep, E-L-I-X-I-R. Okay. Project book dot com slash media. Uh, oh, yep. sorry. And, and this is where I tell people, like when they ask, can you do an interview? I just say, yep, here's my, uh, here's my media room. And it's got it all. It's got the, the headshot, the bio, the uh, sample questions. But some of what you need is like a push of a button with author wizards. In fact, scroll down. This is funny. I say, how to sound like a pro, even if you haven't read the book yet. <laughs> because I know, and you know too, these media people, they got to be cranking out things every day. They don't have time to sit down and read a 350 page novel. And yeah. then come up with questions, right? Huh. You like that, Jim? I do. Yeah. Hey. I was I, reading this stuff. This is pretty good. You know, this is almost like an affiliate toolbox for someone to interview you. Ooh. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. If you got an affiliate program, you create an affiliate toolbox where you give your affiliates all kinds of different tools and stuff. You're giving them all kinds of stuff that they can use to interview you better. Absolutely. And just to make it easy for them to be able to do it. Yeah, because it, it, if it's hard to interview you, they're gonna be, ah, forget it, you know? But if it's, here's what else it does. If you say, go to my media room online, here's what they say. He's Ooh. done it before. Yeah, exactly. He's done it before. Like, this isn't their first rodeo. Now I'm not scared to get them on my show. Like, oh my gosh, they're gonna hijack the whole thing. Right. And they know that you're not going to get on there and, and be a complete moron as you see some people that get on there. There's like, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book. Yeah. And, and the host is looking like, my God, this was the biggest mistake I've ever made. They will never shut up yeah. and they can't answer a question. And it's yeah. just, it's embarrassing. Yeah, it is. And I love it for the ease, for the credibility. Um, I love what Renee says. She's one of our author wizards and she says, um, Oh, I like that. She's one of our author wizards, you know, not just the product, but she's. I like that. I like that. I recently was interviewed by a reporter and was featured in the magazine In Style. Hey, I've never been. I pitched the reporter hoping to get my book featured too. And it wasn't, but she did put me as the main element of the story. Okay. So there you go. Fantastic. Um, you're getting a few people saying, um, I need a hook. Elise says definitely she needs a hook. So we'll talk about that. Okay. And then Amy says, I wonder if we need a website media room for each book or if we can do it on our own website. So I like, would have one for each book myself. I would, I would too. I would too. Cause it's a different story. I would too. Definitely. Well, I would say the big thing when we're talking about a hook or something like that is you, you need a title for your article. You need a title for your interview. You need a title for your video. You need, and, a, and an article title can be a video title, can be an interview title. So why not use one of the content title wizards inside of author wizards? Like and, and, and the answer to that is, well, of course you would do that. And we just happen to have three of them. So we could do the article and video title wizard. We could be the profitable title wizard and title and tagline wizard. I think we should look at the article and title video title wizard. Carrie, let's do that now. Let's show them. So, okay, this, we only got to fill out four things. Okay, what's our, what would be our main keyword phrase? You want to do the Elixir project thing? Sure. Okay, so what's your main keyword phrase? My main phrase become unhackable yeah okay become unhackable who's our target audience 
young adults. Okay. I mean, I'm going after the book, the, not the, the young adult fiction book. And what's a big benefit that they want? They want a, uh, a fascinating, they, they want to be fascinated or entertained with the story. You know, they want to be uh, entertained. With eh. a, no, no, you don't uh, like that? What's the, what's the big benefit of being in that class that you teach based on the book? Oh, okay. You're, you, uh, you're, you're unable to get sidelined, sabotaged, distracted. Focus. You're, you're able to have superhuman focus. Okay. Superhuman. That, that's hot. That's okay. hot. I'm going to be, okay, now I'm going to click this and then we're going to mess around. Okay. Uh, three, become unhackable tips for novice young, for young adults. Become unhackable survival tips. Oh. Um, three key elements to become unhackable. So, I like that. Oh, proven ways to get superhuman focus. Oh, that's good. And then I then, like that one. What is the three? Meaning that uh, three proven ways? Is that it can what be whatever. I mean, three is just a suggestion. You could do yeah. three way, three proven ways to get superhuman focus. That um, is, there are three ways. I love so it. it could be three ways, two ways, one way, seven ways, whatever you have time for. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I like that one. Unhackable myths young adults actually believe. I know it's a little bit cryptic, but to me, it sounds exciting. Okay. I like the misconceptions one. That's cool. I mean, that's yeah. it, it, what you're, what, the whole point of a hook is just to make your target audience in this case, in, in this case, a media person, mm -hmm. whether it's a podcaster, a reporter, yeah. a Facebook live or whatever you call them, anybody yeah you know, is to get them to stop and go, wait, what? And that's all that, that's what you're trying to do. And the hook can be the hook, but then you can have a subtitle under that. Like, oh yeah. Um, how, how today's electronics are distracting kids preparing for college. You distracting know? and destroy or, uh, how electronics are destroying young people's futures. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. And then um, positive is how to become unhackable that would yeah. be hot. and how to make your child unhackable mm -hmm. Ooh, i like that because yeah. then you could go that's a way you could transition from you could hit both audiences so what was the thing that we said was um three pro or proven yeah. ways to get superhuman focus mm -hmm. um three ways to make your your child unhackable in today's electronic uh electronic, saturated world yeah yeah something like that That'd be good. Oh, I like so, that. So, okay, so that's the first thing you got to do. And we got other other stuff too. I mean, I don't know. Do you want to look at any? And you can also use headlines, mm -hmm. by the way. You can use the headline wizards mm -hmm. um, to create I saw, stuff. I saw the word profit in one of the ones you suggested. And I think some of our, some of our listeners today probably want to make money. There you go. So do you want to uh, do another one of the, of the, uh, the title things, or are we good with that? You want to move on to the next one? No, we can go to title. You want to do a different title? Sure. All right. So let's look at the profitable title wizard. I just like playing with these. So this one's okay. pretty close. So our main keyword <laughs> phrase again is? So now we're going to do the nonfiction version. Okay. With the book Unhackable. So okay. what is your main keyword topic? Um, uh what about that superhuman focus one? Superhuman focus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And our target audience is still young adults or parents of college age kids. I like that. Parents of college age kids. Okay. So is that where we say like, okay. Yeah. So singular and plural. I gotcha. Yeah. And the main action that they want to take, my target audience really needs to help their kids get ready for college. Yeah. And what about, what about uh, something like build a better future? Because 
they're basically, you know, preparing for college. Why? So that they can build a, a, a better future. Okay. So help your kids build a better future. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the big payoff of that? So with this thing that we're selling them, what, what can you do with this, uh, with this uh, interview, with this, with this information, with everything we're going to share? Mm -hmm. What, what's the big payoff? So the, ex I love author wizards because it has the examples below, like lose 15 pounds, make a lot more sales. So what's the main result? You will have a more productive um, uh, young adult. Like I know how to say it negatively. They're not going to live in your basement for the rest of your life. Um, you know, that'll hit parents. Have a more productive, attentive. Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, independent, independent and, um, self-reliant. Yeah. All Ooh, that stuff. productive, independent, uh, productive, independent, and self-reliant. I like that. Now parents will pay for that. <sighs> Otherwise they're going to be paying for rent. Come on, parents shout it out. <laughs> Some of these people are paying to have their kids thrown out. Um, we got North Carolina here. Ooh, superhuman focus explained for parents of college age kids. That's not mm -hmm. bad. Um, superhuman focus system, superhuman focus secrets. I like that. I like that. Uh, oh, uh, the expert's guide to have a more productive, independent, and self reliant young adult. See, that's huge. Uh, authors like that. could be sitting there beating their head against the wall all afternoon saying, but I don't know how my book could be ever covered you know because remember this is fiction so yeah. for all the fiction people out there that are saying come on how can you do this for fiction jim's doing it right now help your kids build a better future and they need the exposed things mm. help your kids build a better future a future a candid conversation about superhuman focus i think kid, kid they say that we have what uh the attention of a goldfish, right? A yeah. goldfish has more attention than, yeah. than the average kid. The the goldfish has nine seconds. We have eight. There you uh, go. The parent of college age kids guide to help your kids build a better future. Mm. Um, See, and tell people who don't know author wizards. I mean, what you're basically doing, Jim, because I know you know it so well, but you're clicking the blue which allows a new title. And then what is the shopping cart? What is the copy for brand new people? Um, so the shopping cart is we can add this to our clip bin. So it's like we're going shopping for ideas here. Okay. And then the copy is if, hey, if I know I'm going to do this, then I could just take this over and dump it into um, Facebook, whatever I'm using, yeah. Facebook, wh whatever. Okay. Um, but there are this, it makes dozens and dozens and dozens of these and they start kind of running together but like this one help your kids build a better future tips tricks and tools um mm -hmm. help your kids build a better future tips tricks and tools every parent of a college age kid needs to know i like that as a title yeah. subhead yeah. subtitle and again this is going to hit a reporter who is thinking how in the world do i cover this column later this week and then they see yours right boom but the expert's guide to raise a more productive, independent, self-reliant young adult. I mean, that's a good one. Here's what I would do too, folks. I would take the five best, and, and this is the power of author wizards, and on your media press kit, say, in interviews on this topic. Right. And then let them pick, and they're like, oh my gosh, these sound fantastic. Right. Look at this. Decoded. Superhuman focus. I would change this to parents of college age kids for mm -hmm. college age kids. Mm -hmm. um, I would change that up here. And that's easy to do because I mean, I would just change it on that because it's still the, the, the target. I love it. Anyway. So that's, that's those, those don't suck. I mean, there's, yeah. all, and all you need is one good one, one or two good ones and you can run the table. Yeah. Just finding people to, to do stuff. To Top do an five interview questions. with you. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Good. And I could see, I could see a lot of authors uh, being invited on panels, podcasts, um, Zoom. 
listen, the world's going to change here this summer. It's because all change. It is, man. Like, you know, last summer you took your kids to the pool all, all the time. Well, listen, there's going to be, uh, uh, everyone's now used to Zoom if they weren't before. And so don't think you got to travel all over the world just to be uh, featured to talk about your book. I'm seeing some of our authors being invited to online summits, oh, to yeah. workshops, to uh, interviews. It's happening. So you can literally travel around the world from the convenience of your home and have an impact uh, all over the place. Look at this one. The Insider's Guide to Raising a More Productive, Independent, and Self-Reliant Young Adult. I like that one. That's good. That is good. And, you know, th you can just change three secrets to raise a more productive, independent, self-reliant young adult. That, that's got legs. All right. What else would you like for us to do? So, well, so basically you, you asked me, I'm sorry, I kind of ignored you. I was, I was too busy focused in. <laughs> basically well, what, what Author Wizards does is Author Wizards gives you the opportunity to decide on, like, let's say you wanted to write a press release or you needed um, to write some curiosity inducing ads, mm -hmm. or you needed to tell somebody what you did in one sentence. All the wizards work basically the same. You just fill out a form, whack a button, and it gives you the first draft, but it's a first draft that's totally customized for what you're doing, what your topic is, who your target audience is, how you help people, how you're impacting the world with your message. And it combines it with proven templates, structures, and blueprints that are known to work. So instead of you having to master all of those template structures and blueprints, all you have to do is focus on your message and who you're trying to help. And Author Wizards does all of the work for you to get that first draft done because it's always easy to edit a uh, first draft, it's impossible to edit a blank page. Ooh, I like that. Here's some questions. Uh, Connie asked, Jim, how long does it take to be proficient in this? It's a good question. So um, I think, think I think that becoming proficient at using author wizards is just a case of putting in the putting in your initial responses, whacking the build button, reading it, saying, nah, I wouldn't say it like that way. And then go back up, change it, hit the button again. And then you just keep reading it, massaging it, reading it, massaging it until you're like, okay, that reads great. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and that's, that's all it, it takes. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take a long time. If, if you, if you look at it as I'm playing and I'm having a good time, as opposed to, well, I filled out the form the one time and I whacked the button and it's not perfect, so it sucks. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's honestly what you, what you do is you just fill it out, whack the button, go back, change, modify, do it. That's what I do. Yeah. And I mean, these scripts are straight out of my own head. So- Jim, Jim, could you use that? Could you say that again, but with the auto-tune voice? Which part? About, uh, I tried it one time and it didn't work, so- Sucks. I tried it one time and it didn't work, so this sucks. As opposed to I tried it and I went back and I changed it, then I hit the button again and it was amazing. How was that? That was a. If I had that feature, I think we need to put that feature in Author Wizards. See. Everyone can be a pickle. I want to be a pickle. We're all pickles. See, I should not have encouraged him, folks. Uh, but I do love the auto tune. And <laughs> Kristen says, uh, "Will this me video?" This, baby. We have we have excited people, Jim. Uh, Kristen says, "Will this video be available later?" Absolutely. Unless it gets pulled down by Mark Zuckerberg and his censors, it'll still be here later. There you go. Well, Jim, I'm going to have to write a lot of uh, sales copy coming up with our Igniting Souls conference, and it has to be benefit based. And, you know, I can sit and look at a blank page for a few days and try to figure it out, or I can log into Author Wizards and start typing in. It's like Mad Libs. I mean, it's a lot more than that, but I love what April said. It's like Mad Libs. We enjoy doing that as kids, a lot of us, and uh, it makes writing fun again because a lot of authors 
do not want to be spammy or salesy and they don't know how to make it happen. So it's a great tool, my friend. And since we have a hard stop in two minutes, where can people get a 48 hour pass to see it again in well, action? Go to authorwizards.com and you can watch a really cool training with Carrie and myself where we'll teach you three amazing secrets about content marketing, how you can sell without selling. And then we'll also give you a much more extensive demo of Author Wizards. You can go to authorwizards.com, sign up for that now, and uh, we will see you on that webinar.